This morning, the Machinist Union in Pratt and Whitney opened contract talks seeking a new deal and seeking to keep jobs here in the state. Those talks begin a day after Pratt's parent company, United Technology, says thousands of jobs must go in order for the company to stay competitive. Fox Connecticut's Anthony DiLorenzo joins us live and he's got the latest for us. Anthony? Hey, Logan, well, just in a few hours, one of the most anticipated meetings between both of these parties will happen right here behind me. The union representing the machinists at Pratt & Whitney won a fair two-and-a-half-year contract from a company that's dealt with a tumultuous 14 months with its employees trying to lay off workers and even close plants. For the first time in three years, Pratt & Whitney will open labor talks this morning. 3,000 workers' jobs on the line, and the union is looking for a fair contract, but tensions are running high. Pratt spent the last 14 months trying to fire 1,000 machinists to outsource their jobs. The move to closed plants was ultimately blocked by a federal court in February. Chief negotiator for the union, Jim Parent, told Fox Connecticut, quote, The machinist union from three plants expects tough negotiations. We are prepared to negotiate a collective bargaining agreement to bring back to our membership. The union is not looking to negotiate a strike, but the best possible contract for our members. But news late Monday has to sting. Pratt's parent company, United Technologies, said it would cut 3,300 workers this year and next. No word how many would come from Connecticut. What is clear, a new deal has to be done by December 5th. If not, a Christmas season strike could come. A Pratt spokesperson told Fox Connecticut in part, quote, As in the past, we are committed to bargaining in good faith and doing what is right for our employees and our company. Morning's meeting gets underway at 10 a.m. sharp, and both sides are trying to come to some sort of agreement before December 5th to hopefully avoid a strike. But if not, those picket lines would go up the morning of December 6th. That's something that both sides say they are trying to avoid. Reporting live in Cromwell this morning, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Fox, Connecticut. Thanks, Anthony. Hartford police say a mom tried to take the law into her own hands. 38-year-old Sylvia Mojica is accused of sending her son to school with a BB gun and a folding knife because he...